Hey guys, ooh, there is, here's a Moki of this guy, and I'm very excited for the new Final Fantasy um, video game. That should be pretty cool. Today I'm going to talk about no ban cards in our play, uh, casual format. So, I don't really get it. Um, the, what, the reason I don't get it, if you're going to play EDH or a group of friends, and the same group of friends, uh, just like I have in Houston, I had in New York, I had in Virginia, then you as a group of friends decide what is banned and what is not banned, not some rando who has never played in your playgroup. So my playgroup, current playgroup, I'll, I'll talk about my Groovy Gecko playgroup. Everyone, everyone played like this control meta, which if you like attack someone for one point of damage, they would be like, oh, sh it's on now. I'm going to control you and counter all your spells. But that's like what everyone did. I would not be surprised if you broke down everyone's deck and we just were playing the same counter spells. Like 80% of the deck was the same and then there were some random combos that everyone tried. So it was like everyone played the same deck and then everyone trying to combo. But we loved it, we loved it. And you know, it, it's amazing, right? Uh, the same I feel about modern is Okay, Wizard of the Coast said Splinter Twin's too strong, it's not good enough. And our play group, we still play Splinter Twin, like on Modern. Like, we still have that deck to play with. We still have um, Primetime deck or the um, Amulet Bloom. And as long as you're not stacking with Amulet Bloom, it, the win con is, you're not going to win that much with it. So, at least casually, and I'm playing more and more casually, and less and less at tournaments, especially like GPs and stuff, that's less attractive to me because. That's not the place that I like Splinter Twin. I thought that was a good deck. I like playing against it and I liked playing with it. So to me, it's still not even banned yet because I get to play against it all the time because my friend built a deck. He spent $800 building his deck. Once they banned it, he's still gonna play it. Like there's no, yes, there's no FNM prize support of a crappy promo or like a pool of like, uh, crappy booster packs, but like, holy crap, like, why would you need that? Why would you even want that? Okay, everyone puts in five dollars so we can get like the most terrible FNM promo in the last decade, and then we can get like the most terrible EV of a booster pack. My locals is giving Battle for the Zendikar booster pack still. That is terrible EV as prize support. They understand there's no way to get rid of it, and it's time to get rid of it now. Caldes will be the same exact way. Because at the end of the day, the price can only stick up this high because it, it cannot go beyond a certain point. Otherwise, storage would never sell a box. They would just open them all and sell singles. So definitely, I get it that people want to do like official stuff. And I would say the majority of Magic players are casual. Like when I say majority, I mean 98%. If not 99% of casual Magic players would never go to a GP now. If Wizard of the Coast is correct and there's 12, 12 million, 15 million players, how many of those players have ever been to the GP? Like 10,000, at most 50,000, 100,000, even 100,000, which I think it's a high number. You're talking about 100,000 divided by, let's say, 10 million. It's still 1%. So definitely, I can probably say definitely less than 1% of people have ever been to a GP or a pro tour or a high level of play. Most people just play kitchen table. That's what we do. We play kitchen table. We'll order some Papa John's. We'll drink some Shiner Bach and we'll just have a good time. We'll have like the one dude, the one dude, uh, Travis and not Travis Wu, a different Travis. He's white and Travis is, uh, he went to law school with me and it's just a really ridiculous dude and he'll play with like a tub of ice cream every time. I still remember that because it happened like last week. We're playing EDH and yes, Emrakul was not, we don't have a ban list. The whole point for EDH for us, you play what you want. Like why would, okay, you're playing casual format. Why would you let someone else tell you what cards you can play in for your casual group? It makes no sense to me. It's so like surprising. Yeah, if you were to do an EDH official tournament, which by the way, probably doesn't exist. It's not like sanctioned by Wizard of the Coast or it's not like a GP is commander. Then, okay, I get it, cool. 
you sign up for a tournament and there's a prize. But if you're just at home, you know, why? Like, why would there, why would you even have a ban list if everyone's okay with it? We're still all playing Profit of Crufix. All of us. Because that card is so fun to play with. Anyway, bye guys.